Will AEW be the new WCW? After doing a lot of research on why WCW failed in the 90s, I've compiled the four main reasons why they did, and we're going to see if AEW is following in their footsteps. Number one is poorly received storylines. Storylines are the bread and butter of what a professional wrestling show is, and if people don't like what they're putting on, people aren't going to watch. It doesn't matter how good your wrestling is, if there's not a storyline behind it, who really wants to keep watching? Some of WCW's worst were Hogan vs. The Dungeon of Doom, Ultimate Warrior Haunting Hogan, New Blood vs. The Millionaire's Club, and a lot, and I mean a lot, of the NWO. Wow, it really seems like Hogan didn't do much for WCW. Some bad ones for AEW were the Elite Hunter, The Nightmare Factory, Cody Rhodes vs. Anthony Agogo, and the Guns beating the Acclaimed for the tag titles. I mean, really? That's the decision Tony Khan made? Jeez. All of these stories from both companies turned eyes away from their own products and essentially led them to other companies, mainly the WWE. And with that comes number two, a loss in popularity. People always want to be a part of something, and that part of something might be stop watching your show to start watching WWE. A lot of us know that WCW's turning point was when Tony Schiavone spoiled that Mankind was winning the WWF Championship and everyone proceeded to pick up their remotes, change the channel, and watch Mankind win the WWF Championship. They didn't continue to watch WCW. Ever since then, WCW was never able to come back to the popularity that they had, and they had a stranglehold over the WWE. 84 straight weeks, WCW was above WWE, and it was shattered in mere seconds. Way to go, Tony. In today's time, nothing like this has happened, nor do I think it will. But with the removal of Vince McMahon and the stepping up of Triple H, the WWE has never been more popular, with more eyes on the WWE and them going to more countries. And I hate to say it, but this is probably better than the Attitude Era when it comes to popularity. AEW isn't even in comparison with WWE when it comes to popularity. They're popular, just not as popular. And now with all that, we have number three, the cost of running a wrestling show. You have a wrestling ring that you have to acquire. You have lights. You have tour buses, you have uh, 18 wheelers to carry everything. You have employees that have to set up all that stuff, uh, lighting, music, all this kind of stuff. And to top it all off, the cherry on top of all of that, after everything else is paid for, you have the wrestlers' contracts themselves. With all these contracts running out nowadays, wrestlers are getting their bags and boy, are their bags getting full. It's a bidding war for the biggest wrestling stars today. WWE is trying to grab everybody. AEW is trying to grab everybody. TNA is trying to grab everybody. Even New Japan is trying to grab everybody. Everyone wants everyone. And just like today, it was the same back then. Everyone wanted the biggest stars because with big stars, you get more eyes on your product and more of that cheddar. I found this list of contracts of WCW superstars. I don't know exactly if it's correct or not. You can pause the video to look how crazy some of these are. But if it is correct, WCW was spending an insane amount of money on wrestlers in the 90s. This isn't even 2024. This is the 90s. They were making this kind of money in the 90s. Now, like I said, I haven't found anything to validate those numbers or the numbers I'm about to show you in this video. 
but this video shows what AEW wrestlers are making. And it's still mind-boggling how much they're making for a show who can barely bring in ticket sales. AEW is shelling out big money, and it's been reported that they're not even profitable. Even after their TV deals and the loss of their biggest wrestler, CM Punk, they're still not profitable. Which, in case you didn't know, is really bad for any business, let alone a wrestling promotion. So a lot of money being spent on lackluster storylines leading to your audience leaving, which is just like this Ouroboros of the death of a company. All of these reasons are bad for any wrestling company, but they pale in comparison to the fourth reason, not having a TV deal. The biggest reason WCW failed was because Ted Turner lost all power in his company when the AOL merger happened. Ted Turner loved wrestling and he did everything he could to keep it running on his network. But the executives saw wrestling as a ridiculous thing to have on television network. Boy, were they wrong. And so they pulled it. They just took it off. See ya. Adios. And then WWE bought him. Don't you just love business? And now, it was reported just a few days ago as of recording this, that WWE has a $5 billion contract with Netflix coming in January of 2025. $5 billion. AEW not only needs a permanent home in which they can broadcast both, if not three of their shows to keep up with WWE, but they need to find one that is making a lot more money than they're getting right now from Warner Bros. Which is going to be hard to do because you don't have as many eyes as the WWE. So you can't even argue that. You can't argue that you're up there with them. Because you're just simply not. And why would any company pay more for less eyes? They just simply wouldn't. WCW's TV deal was the nail in the coffin. Once they didn't have anywhere to broadcast, that was it. And it will be the same for AEW. Once this Warner Bros. thing is over with, if they can't find anywhere that will, one, have them, and two, pay enough, they will fall, just like WCW. So, will AEW be the next WCW? Possibly. It really depends on what Warner Bros. decides to do with AEW, or if AEW can pivot and actually get more eyes on their product. I personally don't think AEW is going anywhere anytime soon, but in, you know, old WWE fashion, never say never. Let me know what you think in the comments below. Will AEW fall like WCW, or will they soar to the heights of WWE? If you liked the video, make sure to like and subscribe, hit the notification bell, and I will see you next time.